my expectations coming into uh, Lomo today. Uh, never been to Belgium. Uh, the only place I've ever been in Europe would be France um, last year. So definitely just coming over and uh, excited. The little sand section, as you can see behind me, little, very small, is uh, it's it's kind of rough. I mean, not too bad, but <laughs> definitely gnarly in. Uh, and just you know, ready to go out there and have some fun. Today, expectations were no expectations. Honestly, I uh, got a really good night of sleep and um, you know, got to the track this morning. It was very cold. Had a double jacket on just to keep warm. Uh, it's definitely cool out here for sure. So that's nice. And uh, show up to the track. Definitely not what I expected. Even though I was, wasn't really expecting anything because I wasn't sure what to expect. And uh, it's definitely sandy. It's uh, getting a little bumpy right now, but uh, definitely different than the U.S. It's a lot of faster corners and just a different kind of style. So it's pretty good though. You know, I'm having fun getting the bike set up pretty good and just trying to ride. It's insane how, uh, how sandy it is and, and kind of the difference between California and, uh, and the United States to, uh, to Belgium and Europe over here. It's, the sand is never ending. I think uh, the elevation we're at is below sea level. so. Kind of makes a little bit of sense, but uh, yeah, no, it's definitely cool and, and it has a really good flow, which is also uh, a plus to it. And I really like the track because you kind of, once you get in that groove, you can just flow right through it. Yeah, obviously there's a <clears throat> always good sand riders and you can't change that, but uh, you know, we're a good team. We're going fast. Uh, we, you know, it doesn't matter what we ride, we can ride it. And uh, you know, we'll see what everyone has for us. I mean, it's, you know, coming here to race and have fun and obviously try to win, but you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I feel like we got a solid team, you know, with Blake Baggett just coming off his championship in the 250 lights class. And then runner up, Justin Barsha, you know, he's a great guy. He's actually uh, um, stepped up to the 450 class and gonna start his 450 career. And um, he's a strong dude as well. You know, I feel like we got a great solid team. You know, if there's something that we, um, that, that needs to be learned or anything from all the guys. You know, I feel like everybody's a quick learner. We work well together. There's no, uh, you know, hard feelings between all of us, so we get along really good, and which is really important. You know, Team USA is a team race, and we all have to work together for to be on top. So I, it's really exciting to to actually get to be over here as well this much early to to get some time with all the riders as well and, and get to know each other maybe a little bit better than than uh, than just at the races when we see each other. I don't know. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be gnarly. It's gonna be, you know, an all-out battle. Sand's gonna be everywhere, especially you know underneath your tear-offs everywhere. But it's definitely uh, it's gonna hold up to be, you know, the motocross the nations. Everybody's gonna be going for it, and everybody wants to win. But uh, I definitely think we came prepared, and I think we're gonna try and get the job done.